So just a quick adventure today. Uh, we're at a friend's house. He said it was okay to detect here. So the house is kind of old, built in the 20s. Not terribly old, but uh, I had another permission today. I got there and the yard was filled with landscapers, probably 20 landscapers. Just doing all kinds of work. Looks like they're gonna be there a while. So I don't wanna work around them and try and film around them. So here we are today uh, at this little yard here. So we'll see what we can find in this 1920s yard and uh, stick around. I'll be back on the first find. Well, the first find of the day, very first hole, <laughs> a shell casing. Uh, looks to be pretty old, uh, about a 38. Not sure, but we'll look into it. See, <laughs> hey, at least there's stuff here. Well, the second hole of the day is some kind of a small pin. And I'll have to clean it up and see if I can figure out what it is. But, uh, yeah, you'll see it right here. Quarter kind of signal down here in the front yard. And have some kind of a little heart-shaped charm. I don't know quite what it is, but uh, hey, we'll clean it up. We'll check with the homeowner. Maybe they know. Well, not finding a whole lot of stuff here. Um, a lot of construction materials because there's a heating and plumbing place across the street but I did just find a uh, uh, looks like either a dog tag or an aluminum token or something uh, but we'll get it home we'll clean up we'll see what we get well we didn't find a whole lot at that last house so we changed locations so now I just door knocked on this beautiful old house here uh, probably built back in the teens, um, the lady inside says it's been detected before, but we know nobody gets everything. So hopefully they left us some goodies here. She also said she lost a necklace here years ago, and the guy who detected didn't find it. So I told her if I find it, I'll get it back to her. But uh, stick around, I'll bring you out on the first good find. Well, I made one pass down along the sidewalk. Lots of targets. Eh, nothing really spectacular, but then I found this. It's a buffalo nickel. So I'll clean that up and see what we get, see if I can get a date off of it. But for now, I pack it in dirt to try to preserve it so I can get home and clean it properly. Now by clean it, I don't mean scrub it clean and make it shiny. That, that uh, if there's value to it, that ruins the value. So uh, I just try to restore it. That's a better word. This is why a yard is never hunted out. There's always something left. You just have, you just have to be patient uh, and go low and slow and keep looking for that little ring. Now, I don't know whether it's gold. I'll clean it up and I'll see what I get. Might be just costume jewelry, but hey, it's cool. It's a ring. All right, you'll see it right here. And here, just a foot away from the ring, I was getting a very simple, similar signal. And it's just a washer. See, you never know until you dig it up. You gotta dig it. You gotta dig it all and take your trash. Well, I was getting a nickel signal here. I'm just working my way along this uh, this uh, ivy bed or a pack of sandra, I think it is. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a gardener. And uh, I found something. Don't know what it is yet, but it's something. I, it's not trash. I can tell you that. So right here, and it's another ring. It is another ring. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that'll clean up nice. All right. Stay tuned. You'll see it right here. silver <laughs> getting a real good dime signal and it's just a Roosevelt but hey oh no it's not a Roosevelt is it no it is I thought for a second it was a uh, 
uh, a Merc, but it's a Rosie. That's okay. We'll take it. Any day with silver is a good day. Well, now that I have a nice little silver coin, let me show you something. Um, why so many things get missed and why it's never hunted out. So, uh, if you look at the detector coil and listen, I don't know whether you'll be able to hear it. Let me open my headphones. Wherever I pass it over, you can hear, you can hear the beeping. But as it gets deeper, you can hear it faintly right above the, uh, the sensor, but not off to the sides. So you have to pass directly over it the deeper it is. So even though you've got a large search coil for the deep stuff, you've only got a very narrow band that you're actually searching. So that's why so much stuff gets missed. It's really the luck of where you are receiver passes over not your search coil so keep that in mind low and slow well i don't know who detected this yard before me but i gotta thank them they left me a lot of cool stuff it's a tiny little butterfly pin so i'll clean that up and you'll see it right here well it's my second thimble I've ever found. All smashed up. I don't think it's not it's not silver or anything, but uh, it's cool. It'll go in my collection. Well, the lady that lives here that <laughs> came out, she's nice, but she said she didn't realize that metal detecting was going to be digging. Uh, so I explained to her that, you know, I showed her some of the holes that I dug and filled back in. But she said that uh, she just had the lawn redone. Uh, it's all brand new grass this year. She really didn't want me digging in the lawn. So she said I could do along the curb strip. So that's where I am now. But I uh, already found a lot of good stuff here. So, hey, if I find anything good along the curb, I'll bring you back out. Well, I went from uh, finding jewelry in the lawn to <laughs> finding pennies along the curb. But it's a long curb strip. It's wide, so I've got my hopes up. There's going to be one or two good things in here, but you just got to keep at it if you want to find the good stuff. You, you can't quit. Well, I'm getting a nice nickel signal right here. Well, we'll see what we get. Probably not a nickel, but... You never know. Don't get dizzy. Alright, it's still in the hole. And it is a nickel. And it's a Jefferson. Probably nothing uh, special. There are a few good years in the Jeffersons. <clears throat> but dug out of the ground, probably not worth a whole lot. But still, I take care of them. Uh, clean it when I get home. And another nickel signal. Maybe a buck one. Still in the hole. It is another nickel, and it's a Jefferson again. Oh well, on to the next. So just when I thought the curb strip was just gonna be pennies and nickels, I got this cool little badge. 
I don't know whether you can see that, but uh, I'll clean it up and you'll see it right here. That's cool. My very first V nickel. Awesome. It was right here. Uh, it wasn't very deep. I thought it was just going to be a piece of foil again. Uh, I'll have to clean it carefully when I get home, but awesome find. So even here along the curve strip, you can still find some cool stuff. On to the next. See what I mean? Another nickel signal just a foot from where we found that V nickel. And it's just foil. So you dig a bunch of foil and you get tired of digging foil. So people skip by those signals. And they leave them for me. <laughs> Well, I have no idea what this is. It's paper thin. Looks like it's got a hole punched in it. And it looks to be made out of copper, but uh, we'll clean it up. You'll see it right here. Now, in online discussions, I hear a lot about um, you can dig in curb strips. The curb strip is this grassy area between the sidewalk and the street. I hear it all the time, you can dig in curb strips without permission. That's not true. Uh, don't go by that. This is still owned by the homeowner. The uh, confusing part, I think it, what's tripping people up is two things. One is an easement. The town maintains an easement over this area to do uh, telephone pole repair, utility repairs, uh, curb repair, things like that. So they can access it for maintenance, but that's it. The, the homeowner is still responsible for sidewalk maintenance, clearing the snow, mowing the grass here, uh, maintaining it. It's their property. A nice nickel signal down in here. Let's, let's see what it really is. And it's a piece of crumpled up foil. <laughs> well, as I was saying, uh, you can't just walk up to somebody's yard and start digging in the curb strip. You might think it's public property, but it really belongs to the homeowner. You have to get permission before you dig. The town doesn't have to get permission to do maintenance, but you're not the town. So don't do it. The other thing people get confused about is the pedestrian right away. So that means that the homeowner can't prevent people from using this grass area or the sidewalk to get from one place to another. They're allowed to get out of their car and walk down the street or just to walk along the sidewalk, walk their dog or whatever, uh, and you can't, you can't stop them. But that doesn't mean I can walk down the sidewalk and metal detect and dig and take things from people's property without asking. So. Don't be that person that uh, gives us all a bad name. Always ask permission. So even if they won't let you do the lawn, a lot of times they'll let you do the curb strip if you just ask nicely. So do it. All right, one last treasure and we'll call it a day. Pretty good signal here. Could be an Indian head penny. Could be junk. <laughs> you never know. Well, it's a wheat penny, but I'll take it. Better than junk. <laughs> well, today was all about making lemonade <laughs> out of lemons. Uh, our original uh, permission didn't work out, uh, so we went to the second permission. That didn't work out too well. There was nothing really there. So then I tried here, but the woman changed her mind. But you know what? In the end, we found a lot of cool stuff, even though we didn't have a, uh, a real good day as far as permissions go. And on the topic of permissions, this is only my fifth door knock ever. Uh, and I've been doing this two years. So for the first two years, most of, my, most of the places I dug, are, well, all of them are family, friends, uh, acquaintances, people we know in town. So I was the scoutmaster here. I've, I know lots of families 
Uh, my wife is big in the church, so you, you got to think of your extended network and who you know who has a yard. Uh, reach out to them. You'd be surprised. They'll let you. They'll let you detect. So that's a great place to start until you can build up the confidence to start door knocking because you do get no's and you can't take it personally. Uh, like I said, the lady here had a lot of grass put in um, and it looks really nice so I don't blame her for not wanting me to dig. But uh, oh well, uh, I've got a great permission in a couple of days and uh, I'll tape that one too and you'll see it uh, probably next week. So stay tuned. Hey, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. So, all right, see you in the next time. Yeah.